Hi, this is Jay Lee. You got to check out what we captured at our latest UFO sighting event on May 21st, 2017 over in Southgate. Amazing stuff. We had a great time at this event. It was a little on the hot. Some very, very nice people attended. What's cool about these events is that everyone there is into UFOs and can speak freely about the subject, unlike probably their workplace. Most of all, you could be yourself and explore the truth with your own eyes with field research. There was so much action this day. I think we saw over 30 objects. Most of the activity occurred after 3 o'clock. There was a lot of interaction between these things, which is a little unusual. Can you see it? Uh, no, it's not a Whoa, here comes a plane. Germany, okay, oh yeah, it's right underneath that plane, huh? It's pink plane. That's the pink plane. Oh, you would have had pink plane right there. So I wanted to show you some of my favorites. Some I'll explain and some I'll show live. This first one, Shelly named it Chandelier. I thought it was a great name for it. It was some sort of upright thread of diffuse silver bulbous material. No matter how hard we tried, we could not get a crystal clear shot of it. This looks like one that was captured a couple years ago in April 2015 at Hollydale when a famous ufologist came to visit. His name was Rob Freeman, and this one looks very similar, and I'll show you in just a moment. Focus it. I'm gonna zoom it, okay? I need you to change the, possibly the ISO, okay? Go down. down. I'm gonna zoom it. Okay. Go ahead. Change the ISO. Not too dark, not too light. Can I go more? Uh-oh. Wait, I'll leave it in what is that? Go, go back down, down to the right. Down. Yeah. down. Down. Right there, center, center, center. center. Focus, focus it. There it is. Stop right there. Go up, middle. Up, 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 up. Right there. there stop, stop, stop. It's not moving. Left, left, middle. Go left a little bit. And up. Dripping light. There it is, centered. Keep it focused. I want it crystal. Oh, Make sure it's colored. Yeah, go left slightly. It's moving. What is it, you guys? It's just long. Because that's what floats over the city, like San Gabriel Valley. Go down, down. Down. It's on top of the screen right now. It's on top of the screen. It's on left of the screen. To the right. A little bit, just a little tiny. There we go, there we go, there we go. Is that right there? Okay, you go. Down screen right now. Go up, 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 up. Yeah, up, 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 up. Yeah, 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 there it is, there it is, center, 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 center. There it is, there it is. Is it crystal? Oh, I'm losing it. Somebody's standing in the way. Go, go middle right there, stay, stay in that. Up, go up, up, right there. To the, to the left. Here's some footage that Rob Freeman captured back on April 19th, 2015. I'll put a link to this video below. Although not exactly the same, there's definitely some similarities. Notice the lack of crystal clarity as his camera had the same problems focusing on this object also. We set up the date, time, and place. We bring our cameras and prepare ourselves to capture something unusual. And something like this shows up. Do you think that this is a coincidence or an accident? Were we in the right place at the right time with the right equipment in order to capture something unusual like this? Could you take your best equipment and go outside right now and capture something that looks like this? Is this mechanical or biological? You know, we have this thing called marine biology, which society pours billions of dollars into its exploration. And then there's stuff like this, atmospheric biology, which lacks the funding for exploration. But we've seen the truth because we've captured this stuff on video. No denial of truth will ever invalidate it. The probability of a certain set of circumstances coming together in a meaningful way is so low that it simply cannot be considered mere coincidence. So let me tell you a little bit about running my telescope. It's a Mead ETX90 hooked up to a Sony A6000. It usually takes two people to run at this level. One person to spot and keep track of it and the other person to guide, focus and deal with the ISO, which is the amount of light entering the camera. I am the spotter and tracker. Once I see a UFO, I try to catch it on my 8x spotter scope. If I can catch it on the spotter scope, I use the crosshairs to help me keep track of it. As you can see, the field of view is pretty broad. The tower you see in this picture is a little less than a quarter mile away. When we see things over a mile away, my field of view is even wider. Most of the things I see I can barely make out and looks like a big star. What I see is an overview at 8x zoom. When you see the vignette in the telescope, you're about 60 times optical zoom. So when something all of a sudden pops into my view, it's moving fast. So here's the first weird one we saw this day. We were setting up our equipment and didn't see anything in the sky, so we put out a call and within 10 minutes we saw this one. It looked like a balloon to me, but it didn't have a tether. 
I began taping it, hoping that it was going to be a leader. A leader is something that draws your attention. Once you start videotaping it, potentially a flyby could happen. And that's exactly what happened in this next case. Although it wasn't at the same focal distance as the leader, I measured the approximate speed to be around 17 miles an hour, which is about 24 feet per second. Flybys at 17 miles per hour is not normal when it's passing by a motionless object. Remember, I saw it with my spotter scope and it came out of nowhere. So here it is. Yeah, you're totally centered now. Oh, there's two of them. It's getting together. It's getting together. Do you see them? Do you see them? They're flying in different directions now. Should I get it on the other one? Do you trust this one? They just flew by. Here's another flyby. A couple of strange looking foils are attached to each other when a flyby at an even higher rate of speed shoots by. You're going to notice that they blur out at exactly the same time. I want to make sure that you know that they are at approximately the same focal distance. This is something that you would see with a drone, not with a balloon. If you think that this is normal, you need to videotape something like this yourself. Record. Wow, they're coming together! They're coming together! Yeah, 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 you got it, you got it. Do I have it? Yeah, come up, come up, come up. Wow, they just pass each other! Yeah, now they're moving apart. Right, right, right. Right. Whoa, 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 I want to get this one. All right, come up. Center, 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 center. Come left, left, left. This left, next left. one looked a little strange to me because it seemed like it looked like a worm that would curl into a ball or even unravel. Now, if this was a biological entity, I would think the last thing it wanted to look like is a worm. It looked like it was in perpetual transformation because at times it looked like it turned into the number six, which would make sense if it tried to be a mimic. <laughs> Oh, you're top of the screen. Come down. Top of the screen? Top left. Top left. Far corner of the top See, left. Hey, you're just, you're sharing that to the groups. That was, Is that better? Yeah. Here comes the uh, wire. Okay, so I'm going up to the left. How's this? How's this? Right How's this? How's the ISO? I don't want it too dark, I don't want it too light. Better dark. As crystal as you can get it. Okay, you're in the middle right now. So here's the last one I'm going to showcase. It's another flyby. Now, just like the last flyby, the objects blurred out at the same time because they were at the same focal distance. The telescope I use has a manual focus. My telescope is not set on infinity. You have to set the focal distance manually. Once you set the focus on an object or UFO and something with equal clarity pops into your view, you could be pretty sure that the objects are equidistant from the camera. When we call them, we ask them to teach us something so that we can teach others. We bring equipment and capture strange things on camera. About 30 things showed up this day. So here's the question. Is that normal? If you showed up to the same park at the same time on the same day, but stayed three to 400 yards away from us, would you capture the same flybys? Would you capture the same things? This is a challenge for the cynics out there. Excuses not accepted. Anyway, if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe to J. Lee UFO on YouTube and LA UFO channel on Facebook. Please comment, and if you'd like to email me, I put it in the description below. We have a UFO sighting event every month with some of the best UFO communicators in the world, so join us on LA UFO channel on meetup.com. We'll see you next time.